Okay guys, so as I said in my last video, I did lay out all of my silver stack and I figured first of all I'd give you guys a quick overview of everything that I've got and then I would also say what it took for me to stack 100 ounces in the matter of 4 months like I did. So first of all, like I said, I'm going to do a quick overview of everything that I got. On the left, obviously, that is my 100 ounces of Monarch Silver Bucks. Um, and then off on the right side, we've got all of my other stuff that I kind of got just for collecting. Um, first of all, there's the 1 ounce 2013 Kookaburra with the snake privy mark on it. Next to that, we have the 1 ounce Silver Maple with the snake privy mark on it. One row down, we've got a 1 gram Monarch Precious Metals round. It's very tiny. Um, next to it, we've got a 5 gram bar. Again, very tiny. In the next row, we've got the 1 tenth ounce Monarch round. Next to that, there's the half ounce round. And then we've got the 1 ounce hand poured bar that I actually did the giveaway on. And at this point, I've already shipped it out to the winner. So that is all of my silver. And then what I wanted to talk about is what it has taken for me to stack 100 ounces in four months. Now, depending on how much money you make, that might not even be anything special. But to me, that's a lot because I had to spend every dime that I got basically on silver in order to do that. So I actually wrote a list of things that I had to do in order to stack that much. So first off, the way that I bought my first 20 ounces, which actually cost me $600 because it was about 30 bucks an ounce when I first bought that. But how I did that was I spent most of the money that I got from selling off all of the parts of my old computer. If you look on my channel, that would be the original Big Red computer. I sold basically all the parts from that to build. I spent most of that money, again, on my first 20 ounces of silver. Next up, basically I didn't buy myself anything else other than silver um, lately. Like if you look at my videos, I do videos of pretty much everything I buy. And the only thing you'll really see on there is silver videos. I didn't buy myself any new electronics, which actually really sucks because there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to get. But I haven't got it yet. Um, I didn't buy any firearms, which actually I guess that's not that bad because... In the current uh, market with the gun scare, everything's overpriced anyways, so that kind of makes sense, but still I didn't buy any gun stuff. And what you might have seen in my video, I think it's titled, Why I Buy Silver. I did buy a bunch of ammo, but that was for my birthday to go shooting, and then on my birthday it turned out that the range was actually closed. So we came home, you know, didn't get to go shooting, so I still had all the ammo. And rather than keep it for what I had to overpay for it to get it, since it was, you know, out of stock everywhere. So I just resold that ammo for basically what I paid for it. And so I spent that money into silver as well. So, like I said, basically all the money that I've gotten in the past four or five months has gone straight to silver. Now, that is absolutely not a good way to stack. I'm going to say that right now. If you only buy silver, it's going to kind of tire you out. For example, I didn't buy anything other than silver that I wanted, and it just it really sucks. So now what I've decided to do is I'm taking a quick break, you know, probably just a couple months away from buying silver, and I'm going to buy some other stuff that I wanted to buy earlier but didn't. I need a graphics card for my computer, first of all, and I actually got part of an AR-15, and that will be in some upcoming videos. And yeah, I don't think there's much else that I actually want. But just, you know, I'm going to go get some stuff just to not feel so... Not not feel like I spent all of my money on silver. And so I'm just going to get some fun stuff for me, basically. So yeah, you guys will see that stuff in the upcoming videos. Um, if you do want to see the stuff I mentioned, which is my AR-15 parts, and when I do get a computer graphics card, maybe another monitor, I don't know. When I get that stuff, if you want to see those videos, please do click the subscribe button so you'll see when those come out. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please do feel free to click the like button, and also leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.